I was a little bit unsure about the 3008 Hybrid 4, but having driven it for quite a bit today, uh, I was very impressed. Uh, the whole thing just worked, just fantastic. The electric, when that's just running by itself uh, on startup, effortless, smooth. Then when the engine does kick in, uh, it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, I was really, really impressed with it. That was much better than we expected it to be. It, it performs exceptionally well. It's a good addition to the range without damaging the vehicles that are already there. We don't think it'll damage too much the 3008, whilst it will compete with it, but, and it'll also compete on the hybrid uh, scene as well. Certainly in the 3008 Hybrid 4, which we also drove today, uh, very strong performance from that vehicle across all areas, whether it be uh, quality of the ride through to uh, performance and uh, refinement at, at low speed. So yes, great expectations for the hybrid derivatives of 508 in due course. I've driven it before in terms of its normal um, uh, vehicle, so this was quite a, a different experience. That was probably the, mo the most surprising vehicle of the lot, how well it drove. Quite impressive for, um, for a hybrid. 3008 actually, I've driven it in its uh, diesel guise, and I think the most pleasing thing was the fact that there was so little difference once you were driving it, okay, there's a few different dials and everything else, but uh, to be honest, I wouldn't have known after a while I was driving something else. I'm a big fan of 3008 as it happens, um, but to actually have that hybrid and still have uh, uh, you know, a two-litre engine behind you, it's got to be good news for Peugeot.